So, you're here. What is the culture? Am I joining a cult? Well, you could be. Um, this isn't going to be for everyone. Um, and uh, if it's not for you, that's cool. If you think it might be for someone else, please pass it along. So, things are bad, okay? Just generally in the world, things are bad. Not all, at, not all at once and not all over and don't lose your mind, don't look at it too hard. But generally, it goes like this. The people with money and power don't care if you live or die, clearly, because they're wrecking the planet as we speak. Okay, so I think that's pretty obvious. And they've been doing that for a long time. It's just that their greed has kind of got out of control and is on a planet-threatening kind of level now. So... To keep myself sane, um, the plan is, let's just talk that. I'm going to make YouTube videos that share things that I've learned. I'm old now, so I'm not necessarily going to see it when it all really kicks off. But, you know, I really hate the idea that some people, not many of them on the planet, are, are like pretty determined to cock everything up for the majority of people, that's like you and me, your working classes. And one of the things that they've spent hundreds if not thousands of years doing is securing all the land so that we have to buy somewhere to live off them, which for the vast majority of human history you didn't have to do. But basically people decided that they wanted to take over and some sociopathic people have been working very hard for hundreds of generations to make sure you can't just build a house, live there, grow and hunt food and all that sort of shit. First, where we are now is that basically if an alien or an AI or even, let's go the tote, a deity were to show up and look at the state humanity was in, they'd be amazed uh, the vast majority of people having to give up a third of their lives to earn money for the tiny, tiny minority. For really no good reason. They're not smarter than us. They're not stronger than us. They're, you know, in some ways they're weaker than we are. And they're in a massive minor minority. So everybody from Noam Chomsky to David Graeber to Thomas Paine, to, you know, pretty much anybody, um, has basically said, well, and the people deciding stuff. And usually we murder those people because they threaten to take apart, you know, the way we view the world. Okay. That said, you know, with, with 8 billion people on the planet, you can't have total anarchy. In, in the way that most people understand. You can't have chaos. You can have anarchy in the political term, in that nobody's really in charge, everybody just agrees to do some jobs in order to make anything easier. But I'm willing to bet that, uh, you know, we still do cool shit. And given the telecommunications network we've got, we'd still share the cool shit that we can do. Um, and the means of production are slowly sliding into, weirdly, um, into the hands of, for want of a better term, the people. 3D printers, computers, all that jazz, this camera. Even though that they're quite destructive on the environment, because a new one comes out every bloody week. Okay, so... The idea behind the culture, stage one. I, I want to share some thoughts and ideas and some techniques for making your life more streamlined and helping you not go nuts. Now, not everybody's going nuts. Some people are, you give them a pair of Nikes and a, and a fucking hamburger and they're happy, to quote Steve Buscemi in Ghost World. You know, they're all right with it. Um, as are the people with all the stuff. They're fine with it. 
However, a tiny percentage of people look at it and go, fuck, that's messed up. So, and I don't want the people that are okay with it. Because the people with, that are okay with it are also okay with the oppression of vast swathes of people. And they're okay with disliking people because of gender, orientation, race, religion, all that sort of shit. So stage one. Let's, let's share some ideas to keep you a little bit more sane and maybe keep some resources so you can do more interesting stuff you know, in the meantime. So yeah, I'll be sharing what I've found, what I know, cool media, cool music. There's going to be podcasts, there's going to be all sorts of stuff. Podcasts, videos, I'm going to share some skills, learn a few things, save yourself a few quid. So that's stage one, and I'm going to do that whether anybody watches or not. Stage two. Stage two is we build a community of people that like this shit, right? So the people that look at the world and think this could be better, the people that, um, you know, don't buy into advertising, probably don't watch broadcast television, you know, the rejects. The outliers, the people that actually end up inventing shit and creating stuff. Generally speaking, you're on the fringes of the society. Any creative act is you saying something's not good enough. So if your natural instinct is to create stuff, you know, come on in. The water's lovely. Now, there's a guiding philosophy, right? You're going to love this. Um, everyone's welcome. And the rule is, everyone's welcome. So if you don't think you could get along with anyone, okay, regardless of race, creed or colour, gender, orientation, outlook, then it's probably not for you. Now, a lot of you will be saying, what if we get some real fascist dickheads in here? Right. Would a fascist dickhead turn up in a community where everyone is welcome? Yeah? No. Because everyone would be welcome and they like excluding people. So that's the rule I come up with. Easy to remember. Pretty hard for people to ignore it, right? Try not to be a dickhead to other people, really, because there, there are other people. So try and be a bit more accepting of everybody, because of the tiny percentage of people that we're going to have to work with, yeah, we need all of them, okay? We need the artists, we need the engineers, we need the medici type people, we need all that. <coughs> so yeah, can't afford to waste a single person, you know? Like, sort of like the mobile infantry and starship troopers. Use all the talent, waste none of it. So yeah. Okay. Stage three. All good things come in threes. Well, not all good things. Some things come in much bigger quantities. And they're still good. Okay, so stage three. is we put boots on the ground. The idea that you've got to spend the rest of your life paying for a roof over your head and another, you know, large chunk of your time paying for food that you could just as easily grow or sort out. And the idea that you've got to be beholden to an energy provider when there's plenty of renewable energy is stupid. It's a waste of time and resources and it's a waste of the lives of the very fine individuals I want to live with. I want to live with people that look at things sideways and go, ah, it could be better, for almost no cost. You know? And therefore, I think it shouldn't cost you more than about five or six thousand pounds to put together a, ch a chunk of land and a house. Not a big house. Not a house where you can waste loads of electricity. Not a house where you're not going to have to buy food from time to time. But the idea is that enough of a garden that you can grow most of your own veg 
or maybe raise some fish or chickens or bees or something. Although probably it's going to work out, it's going to be easy to be vegan, so wrap your heads around that one. But yeah, I want outposts of useful people because that's where I want to live, next to the useful people. And I'm not particularly good at anything, you know? And if there was someone else making this media or doing it or saying it, I would let them do it. But you're stuck with me, and I'm sorry. But hopefully, as the community grows, better people than me will step up. So I'm on side, I'm doing stuff till I die, or you find someone better. Really? You get the gig. So that's it. Three stages, the culture. You're gonna be working very hard. It'd be cool if you went along and you, you know, you subscribed. This video is gonna be on there, more stuff's coming. Uh, you can also check out Team Human which is the audio thing. Um, you know, listen to some tunes and chill out. We're also gonna, I'm also gonna be streaming. Let's have fun. Let's have some parties. Even if it's an online party. Who knows? You know, wouldn't you rather hang out at a party, even if it was across the world, with people that you can get on with? So if you're one of those people that looks at it and goes, this is bollocks. Why? Why is it so fucked up? Then, you're probably, you know, someone that we want. And, you know, if you choose to be in the culture, you're in the culture, you know? So yeah, but I envisage for the time being, I'm gonna be shouting this into the internet and I don't mind because it's very steep hill. Because I think we need it, we need a, we need a completely other option. You know, we don't want fascism, we don't want communism. We want doable. So yeah, but remember, everyone's welcome. And that's the rule. Let's try that. Most people aren't gonna wanna know, and that's cool. But if you do wanna know, if you do think that's a good idea, you know, keep watching. I'll try and keep you at least entertained and uh, we'll see what happens. Take care. Thanks for watching.